Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Monday, July 28th, 2014. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch the video, retweet, post, subscribe, do all the good stuff we do on social media. Thank you so very, very much. So today is number 28. 28 boils down to the number 10. 10 is our wheel card or wheel of fortune. It can often feel like, hey, it's Monday. Let's just wake up, go to work, do the same thing we always do. That wheel just turning, 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 the earth turning, turning, turning. Sometimes it is um, wheel of fortune. Um, which means there's a lot of options out there in front of you. I get the image of like being on a merry-go-round and seeing it all go by. Um, and we can't, we don't get off. We can't get off, we don't get off, whatever way you want to look at it. So sometimes you need to just jump off and grab whatever's right in front of you. So that's where that just cycle, cycle, cycle can go around. Also, it is number one. One is our magician. One's our beginning, start, dynamic, they're masculine. One uh, of the magician has everything they need within them. So you're off to a good start today. You're on that wheel. You've got everything you need, and you step into a little bit more of um, uh, six energy, which is a lover's card. And that's because you add up all the numbers today. There's a piece of food coming out of my mouth. You add up all the numbers of today, and you get 24, which boils down to six which is that lover's card. So, you know, as you're spinning on that wheel, as you realize you can be active and dynamic and masculine and, and step forward and seize what you need, knowing you have everything in front of you, you know, you really don't, how do I say it? Seize what you want, seize what you need, but realizing that you have everything in front of you, within you, inside you, able to move forward. I'm contradicting myself, but that's okay. Take it from spirit, <laughs> that there's something there for you. And and the card I poured, pulled for today was the Strength card, which is number eight. And that's that infinity number we're preparing to move into Friday, which is August 1st, which is the beginning of that. And this morning I woke up with this realization that this Saturday will be two years I've been doing this video. For the first 13, 14 months, I did one every single day. And then after that, I believe there's been two times, two vacations where I did not do videos, um, about 14 days. So that's like gonna be a pretty good anniversary and I will be sharing that original video so you don't have to go back and find it because you can always find it. But it's fun because I was so quiet. Welcome to my channel. I was so nervous and it was like two minutes. Now look at me, I can't shut up. I'm already at two minutes, 45 seconds now. So you've got that strength card available to you today when that lover's commitment union card comes at you. Also the wheel, also the one magician. So cool energy today. Let's step into our Lenormand card. So if you're doing some development, you can work on this card. Feel the energy before it comes out. Um, I've got it in my hand. I don't know what it is, but feel that energy coming out. And it will be, ta-da! <laughs> I'm laughing, this is the fish card. I'm laughing because as I shuffled, I saw, oh, there's the scythe, oh, there's the cross, oh, there's the snake, and I'm like, my gosh, is this all this energy? You know, those are all the, quote, negative cards in Lenormand, and you know, the more I'm shuffling, I'm looking at it for myself, and I said, how can I change this deception, ending, bearing cross energy? And this is the card that popped up when I finally opened it up. I said, how can I change it? So, fish card, 34, number seven, king of diamonds, king of coins, um, by, by going with the flow. This card is about money. This card is about flow. This card can be um, just allowing things to move smoothly like a fish does through water. So definitely, definitely move in and around and through that. And some of the other key words, um, plenitude, commerce, trade, self-employment, independence, all that good stuff that goes along with the flow, the, the money aspect of it. So the tarot card to go along with this flow fish card today is going to be two of wands. Two of wands is all about choices. They're often choices that are creative, imaginative, um, sexual, and even spiritual. There's one key there in the middle of both the boxes. Sometimes I tell clients this one key only fits one box. You know, you're lucky. It's a you got one choice, take it. Now, sometimes I say it's it fits both boxes. You get to decide which box you want to open, um, and which one you get to choose. So either way, and today I feel like it's multiple choices. So you get you get lots of options today. There's not just one right or wrong answer. And finally, the Oracle card to go along with today is going to be. Ah, oh, this beautiful card, which is number 17, which is what? Number 8. So we've got a lot of 8 cards popping up. This is that, <coughs> excuse me, 
This is that yin and yang card. This is finding the balance and the harmony. This guy is up on his toe, balancing things out. We've had this card before. Um, remember the other day I said, I want to see new cards because every time I take a, every time you see one of these cards, I have taken the picture and put it in my album because <laughs> I don't have this electronically, so I have to add it. But this is Balance and Equilibrium. And from Terry Gil Gilemetz, if I'm losing balance in a pose, I stretch higher and God reaches down to steady me. It works every time and not just in yoga. So reach up to the heavens when you need to make these choices, when you need to go with the flow, you know, when you need to realize you're on that wheel and you can't get off, which, boy, I tell you, spinning on a wheel is going to throw you off balance. You're going to be dizzy. You know, that one represents that balance, upright, ready to go. Um, and then, of course, again, the lovers and commitment card with the strength card all tied in. So very, very good. So today, I'm going to be honest with you. I sat for almost two minutes before looking at my notes going, what is my development today? What is my development today? And I kept coming back to one of the same overwhelming things. Um, and that is what I talked about last time on Cosmic Caffeine. So... The video I posted the other day about muscle testing, um, somebody on another, on the Spiritual Network page um, was, uh, was, was the, what they said, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it because I, I want to use this as a, as a growing point um, for you and for me, um, and I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get there, but um, what this person said was, um, you really have to be clear when you do muscle testing, especially when you learn how to do it. They said, I have met people who always get the answer they want. How silly, exclamation point. Don't do it if you don't do it right to get the truth. And it was very interesting because first my ego popped up and I went, fuck them. You know, it's just like, you know, it's like, what was up with that? Um, so I, I took a breath, came out of ego and, you know, and I just said, you know, thanks for your concern. But I believe there are many ways to the same mountaintop we're all climbing. And this way of, quote, muscle testing, um, if I choose to use those words or not, works for me. I find your statement of, don't do it if you don't do it right to get the truth, quite absurd because, and here's why I find it absurd, because the truth is all relative to each person. And this, in fact, is my truth right now. And I said, namaste on your journey. So my point with that is, that, um, you know, it, it does work for me and there are many ways to do it. And, and the image that Spirit gave me was somebody one time created a wheel and that wheel was used for one specific thing the very first time. But somebody saw that wheel and said, you know what, I could use it on a skateboard or a roller skate or I could use that wheel to create a, a fly system to raise something up. So it became something very different. So if I call it muscle testing, you know, it's it's energy work on, on a, some form of level or another. It's like Reiki. You know, some people have used it in theta healing, Reiki energy and this or Reiki energy and that. Or I use Reiki energy if you want to call it that. But Reiki energy as a name somebody gave to it, to define it. And that's where I get crazy is trying to define things. But, but the lesson here is, um, first of all, when you see something that makes your ego flare, take a breath. Ask yourself, what is it about that? And part of it was um, my fear of, of doing something wrong. You know, and spirit calmed me very quickly on that which is the sign of growth and development, thank goodness. <laughs> um, but calmed me very quickly, and I was able to respond, you know, with, with, uh, in, a, in a positive kind of a way, but also, you know, saying, you know, I think what you said was, was kind of absurd, too, because everybody's truth is relative to themselves. Um, and that was my lesson, to start speaking up for what I believe to be the truth for me for right now, because that's never going to be wrong. My truth is right, right now. And if someone continues to get the same answer, that's their truth right now. And they got, you know, they got stuff to learn too. Um, but again, so um, this led into last night setting boundaries for, for Jamie and for, for me, um, but also set your boundaries you know, have clear directive of when, you know, people can get a hold of you, when they not, who you allow into your inner sanctum. Um, choose your friends wisely and then weed your social garden, you know, on a regular basis. Um, you know, so keep all that in mind. Um, and then, you know, when things pop up that throw your ego into a tailspin, take a breath, figure out why. Um, and then, you know, respond from a place of love and understanding um, from your heart. So there's all that. And, uh, 
I think that's it. All that being said, um, animal communication spread still up. We'll be up till it, it'll be, probably be up forever because that's such a good one. Um, and I'll put it on the. I think I already have it on animal communication tab on my website. But probably this Saturday, I'll come up with another one, uh, an August spread, if you will. We'll see what that's going to be. I'll see what um, what people are clamoring for. So have an amazing day. Uh, talk to you tomorrow morning. Cosmic Caffeine next Sunday. I've got a radio show on, I think, the 15th, Friday night, the 15th. And still working on rebooking the one from last Friday night to some other time. So namaste to you. Bye-bye.